are watching the Decker Navigator at work in a British European Airways Viscount en route to Frankfurt. Decker is a radio navigation aid which shows the pilot automatically and continuously the exact position of his aircraft. Decker's pictorial presentation shows the track being followed and, as we shall see, enables the pilot to steer any desired track, be it straight or complex. Because of the use of inaccurate and inflexible aids to navigation and air traffic control, improved operational performance can be quickly cancelled out by delays at takeoff, en route, and finally in the terminal area. Quite apart from the safety angle, the very high cost of keeping aircraft in the air makes the adoption of this flexible and accurate navigation system essential. How then does DECA work? It's based on the phase comparison of continuous wave transmissions from groups or chains of synchronized transmitters. From a central controlling master station, three slaves are deployed in star formation. These slave stations are known by the colors red, green, and purple. Long wave transmissions from the four stations bear a simple frequency relationship, and those from each slave are phase locked to the master transmission. From each overlapping phase pattern, a lattice of hyperbole can be plotted in space. This Decker information is presented pictorially to the pilot on the flight log. But in addition, the aircraft position is indicated on meters in the cockpit, one for each family of hyperbole. The fourth meter provides an independent check on the other meters and facilitates initial setting up. The earlier type of meter display shown here serves to illustrate the principle of the system and its outstanding accuracy. Points at which radio waves from master and slave stations are completely in step occur at intervals of half a wavelength. Such an interval is known as a Decker lane. As an aircraft travels from one recurring point to the next, a distance of approximately 500 yards on the baseline, a needle rotates through 360 degrees, enabling a Decker lane to be read to an accuracy of one hundredth of a lane. Notice that on the lane boundary, the fine pointer reads zero. Today, the Decker navigator provides the whole of Northwest Europe and the eastern seaboard of Canada with navigational coverage of the highest accuracy. But the heart of the Decker Navigator is the flight log, which automatically plots the aircraft's position on a chart. In this example, the pen moves laterally in response to the purple information, and the paper moves vertically in response to the red. This is the simplest, most flexible, and most comprehensive form of presentation for a nav aid that it is possible to devise. It shows all the navigational information that is likely to be required and yet permits the pilot to select at a glance the particular information he wants. A detachable cassette on the flight log display head contains up to 20 feet of charts. These may be of a wide variety of different map scales catering for every phase of a flight, small scales for en route and large scales for the highly precise flying required in terminal areas. Each chart has an associate key bearing the appropriate code number. These keys are grouped in a turret switch and inserted in the flight log control box. A single movement of this switch selects the appropriate scale and other characteristics of the desired chart. Our Viscount has now reached operational height en route to Frankfurt. Pure jet and turboprop aircraft have made close lateral separation essential. 
because in order to fly economically, they must operate to the maximum possible extent at their optimum altitude. Accurate track keeping demands that the pilot has immediate knowledge of any wind change. This clearly displayed track shows him at once that correction is required. Without computation, he flies the pen back on the line and there you are, time, nerves, fuel, all saved. Ground speed two may be obtained immediately by checking the rate of progress of the pen along the track on the chart. Vital information for the pilot, particularly for high altitude aircraft subject to jet stream winds. Such winds are encountered, a change of altitude can be made to more favorable flying conditions. In a similar way, the indication of a high ground speed due to a tailwind will enable the crew to change their ETA and so ensure smooth integration into the air traffic control complex. Our Viscount is steadily on course. The pilot knows exactly where he is and can see at once where to divert to in an emergency. Simply steering so that the pen follows the direct line to the nearest diversion airfield on the chart. Now let's see where our Viscount has got to. The whole of the London to Frankfurt flight is covered by two chains the English and the German. In fact, only nine chains cover the principal land and sea areas of nearly the whole of Western Europe. Returning to the English and German chains, our Viscount has reached this point. The pilot must now change to the German chain. With the automatic zone identification of Mark 10 Decker, both chain and chart changes are simplicity itself. We're approaching Brussels and the point in the flight when the German chain, that is chain 9, is brought into operation. When the pen reaches the clearly displayed chart reference, it's lifted from the chart and shifted towards its new position. The German chain is selected like this. Then a reference setting and a touch on a button brings the pen to the nearest zone intersection on the new chart. To change to the next chart, turn the turret switch. Switch to operate and automatically the pen brings itself to the exact present position of the aircraft on the new chart and starts tracing the track once again. Decker is highly versatile. It gives unbroken coverage even behind hills and high buildings, which combined with its flexibility, high accuracy, and direct, easily interpreted map presentation for pilot, make it ideal for helicopters. Decker works right down to ground level and far beyond the horizon. It's used by almost 5,000 ships of every size, type and nationality. An important economic advantage since the cost of operating the system can be shared by many different types of user. Like Silver City Airways, for example, run a car ferry service across the English Channel. The low level cover and accuracy of Decker pay off, even on very short haul operations. Silver City uses Decker continuously on routes of only 38 miles. The system permits accurate separation during the climb and descent phases, eliminates holding, and ensures a smooth runway approach sequence. As a result of all these advantages, Silver City have found that Decker enables one extra flight to be made each day compared to what was possible before. Installed at comfortable eye level, the Mark 9 Decker Navigator provides a continuous display of the position of the aircraft. You'll notice that in this instrument, a traveling cursor represents the aircraft. Just another example of the flexibility of the system. It can be tailored exactly to suit the specialized needs of its users. As the French coast slips into sight, the Bristol freighter with its load of cars and passengers prepare to fulfill yet another accurate ETA.
Decker is a hyperbolic area coverage system. But other navigational aids, known as point source systems, need very many more stations to cover a similar area. And even then, the facilities available cannot compare with those of Decker. If an aircraft, especially a jet, has to be held at any height other than the optimum, fuel wastage rises enormously. Jets must be held at high altitude, but the greater the height, the wider the cone of confusion over a point source station. Because of this, the actual holding pattern which the aircraft flies occupies a great deal of airspace. The Technical Development and Evaluation Center, Indianapolis, estimated that a two-minute holding pattern of 30,000 feet consumes no less than 1,245 square miles. To maintain an accurate orbit in the face of adverse winds, the pilot must perform exacting mental gymnastics. Point source systems are therefore at a serious disadvantage. Point source systems waste airspace, even when used as beacons their original role. Here we see an upper airways system with double tracks defined by Decker in red. These airways are only 11 miles wide. The same airways system defined by point source aids needs airways no less than 52 nautical miles wide, that is to say, the area shown in green. The small blue areas show how little space is left for military aircraft. Now look again at the Decker Airways. This is the most economical way to use airspace, and it leaves ample room for all users. It's made possible only through Decker's great accuracy, which permits close lateral separation. Frankfurt is fogbound. Visibility is down to a few hundred yards, and fog creates delay. The control tower at Frankfurt tell our Viscount pilot to hold over a certain location. All our pilot has to do is to steer his pen to the designated holding area and around the pattern. Incidentally, the ATC authorities can alter this pattern at will. It's only necessary to mark the flight log chart accordingly or to give the pilot the Decker coordinates of the new pattern he is to fly. In a busy terminal area like Frankfurt, the precise control of aircraft is made possible by assigning them to particular flight paths. The accuracy and flexibility of the Decker navigator system ensures the efficient working of any traffic pattern, however complex. And these patterns may be changed without repositioning ground facilities. As aircraft arrive, the system continuously shows the pilot his exact position. Holding areas, independent of local beacons, can be designated and flown accurately, regardless of altitude. Aircraft can then be fed into the final approach pattern according to their flying characteristics. With turboprop and turbojet aircraft, precise navigation is vital if they are to descend safely through the varying levels of medium and low altitude aircraft. The departure of high-level aircraft is unobstructed because medium and low-altitude traffic can be routed on special tracks. This is a significant contribution to safety and the avoidance of terminal delays. Whilst our Viscount is still holding, let's use these next few minutes to look at another application of Decker techniques which again resolves a problem of air traffic control. Incredible though it may seem, an acute ATC problem exists now over the North Atlantic. Here you see the grid of the DECTRA long-range navigational aid, which is designed to solve this problem, and which has already been tested by military and civil aircraft with outstandingly successful results. The DECTRA long-range system makes use of two Decker stations at the western end which produce the tracking position lines running east to west, whilst the intersecting ranging pattern is produced in conjunction with one of the North British Decker chain stations. At present, aircraft on the North Atlantic routes allotted the same height must be separated by not less than 30 minutes in longitude and 120 nautical miles laterally. 
With DECTRA, 12 aircraft can operate in complete safety in the space formerly occupied by one. Our Viscount is still holding northeast of Frankfurt, waiting for the control tower to give him his approach clearance. When he receives it, a glance at his flight log and he's able to estimate precisely his time to the outer marker. Throughout his journey from London, he's flown the most direct path, has maintained exactly his prescribed separation from other traffic and knew where he was at every instant. The flight log is enabling the pilot to feed into the ILS pattern and then to monitor the ILS during the final descent. Despite fog and its associated problems, our Viscount will make a perfect landing. Aviation authorities such as the ICAO Jet Operation Requirements Panel, the International Federation of Airline Pilots Association, the Committee for European Airspace Coordination, and even the American Curtis Committee have all said that the maximum use of airspace can be achieved only by means of a high accuracy hyperbolic area coverage system with pictorial presentation in the cockpit. The only aid which meets these requirements and which has been tried and tested over tens of thousands of flying hours is the Decker Navigator System. <laughs> 